Hi Geeks and welcome to another episode of Glasgow Geek. Today is going to be a lot bit different. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to make some treats for your dog. Obviously as you know we have little pebbles and it's always good to make these little treats because at least you know exactly what's going in them. What I'll do, I'll put in the description box below the recipes and the links to the original recipe that I saw and that way you can see exactly what you need before we even get started. What I will say though is I need to apologise because I'm going to head into my kitchen to show you here but my kitchen is inside a postage stamp and it's got crap lighting so we'll see how it goes and we'll work with it just now. So let's head on over. Hey right, guys, let's get me this recipe. The recipe itself is fairly simple. Um, sorry about the kind of crappy lighting but my, you've said before my kitchen is a size of postage stamp and the, probably the sound quality is horrible as well so we just need to kind of go with what we've got just now until something else happens but yeah so this is your ingredients here so in this just now i have a cup of peanut butter which looks hefty appetizing sizing when it's set out like that we have a cup of milk two cups of flour tablespoon and a half of baking powder and a tablespoon of parsley the recipe itself is fairly simple all we need to do is take a cup of milk and try not to spill it put it in with the peanut butter and what we're going to do is we're going to mix that up so we need to whisk this together until you get basically a peanut butter milk liquidy type thing also you can use an electric whisk but I can't find the whisk attachment for my electric whisk so we'll just use the old fashioned way So basically you want to try and get rid of as much of that as you can, just so it's basically a liquid. Now I'm using a smooth peanut butter. I'll put all the ingredients in the description down below. I chose one that doesn't have any added sugar, so there's no reason why little pebbles could go hyper. Now the reason for this parsley is that parsley is actually really good for combating bad breath. Also helps with the dog's joints in their older years. Also, as you can see, I'm using just normal plain white flour, but if you're a little bit more of a health nut and like to care about what your dog eats, then you can use like whole wheat flour, maybe coconut flour. Um, also, just look up what the dog can't eat. Yep. So you can see that most of the stuff's all gone. And this time I've got my electric whisk ready, because it's got the door attachments on it. And what we do basically is add all the dry ingredients. And we'll do it as it'll add half of this just now so it doesn't go flying. And get the good old fashioned whisk out, get a wee whisk. And just start off down low. And before this gets too noisy, it's a case of adding all the dry ingredients, mixing it up until you get a dough like consistency. There we go. And you see the good biscuit like dough -y consistency. Now, also off to the side, I have my baking tray. Very lined, you can use parchment paper. I don't have any of that, so I'm using tin foil. Watch this as well. And the next step, and we are going to sprinkle some flour down. Grab some of the dough, don't use all the dough at once. If you do that, then you'll just end up with too much to handle basically. Get the rolling pin out, and again, sprinkle that with some flour, and just roll it. I feel about something as thick as a pound coin. Don't know whether that is in America, but not too thick, not too thin. And obviously, as always, you're looking for something that's uniform so that everything cooks at the same consistency. Also, you can use cookie cutters, you can use, you know, professional tools. Again, I always go on a shoestring budget, so I'm using the cat off of, like, a spray ball. Also, it's been washed, it's all fresh, it's all made, there's nothing in it. So, if we just take it and go crazy. Also just line them up all on your baking tray, try and keep them uniform, try and keep them flat. They won't really rise or grow much so you don't need to do that much in between them. So we just use the same one again. Again, just a wee touch of water just so we don't stick too much to the ground. Right, so this is my Becker cap. Just kind of nice designed to it so I don't know if that will come out on it. But again, you can just put two of these in one baking tray because obviously they're all going to go in at the same time anyway and for the same amount of time. There we go, that's the biscuits. 
Now, what I'm going to do is with the bigger ones, you can do this with the wee ones as well, I think, but you don't really need to. The bigger ones, what I'll do is I'll take a fork and I'll just prick them a couple of times. Now, you do it is you put them in the oven, gas mark by 390 Fahrenheit or 190 centigrade, and you put them in there for about 10 minutes or until golden brown. Just think of them as normal biscuits. Okay, now while they're in the oven, we will go ahead and do our next little treats. Okay, so now this one is even easier than before. Basically it's three ingredients, so we need a cup of peanut butter, a cup of coconut oil, a teaspoon of cinnamon. And we do take the three ingredients, put them in a pot, mix them all together, melt them down, and then put them in a little mould, put them in the freezer for a couple of hours, and that's your puppy roll. And both coconut oil and cinnamon has some growing effects with your dog. I mean coconut oil will give a healthy skin and coat, it can reduce the actual dog smell, help a dog tell me help with its joints and even help weight loss amongst a whole lot of other things. Cinnamon itself can act as an anti-inflammatory, again helping those joints and it can also help reduce the diabetes in overweight dogs and older dogs. Let's get into this one. Okay, so so far we have the coconut oil and the peanut butter in the saucepan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on at a low heat just so nothing happens with the coconut oil. I don't want that kind of flash fire. I'll let that melt down a wee bit and then I'll add in the cinnamon and that way you can get properly dispersed between everything. Now I've added in the cinnamon to this as well. I don't know if you can see that as that's melted down nicely. Now the one thing is you don't really want it to boil, you just want it to melt. The next bit may be a bit tricky depending on the mould you've got. I've got these little love heart moulds that I'm going to try and spoon the mixture into. So this could be get interesting. I'll do it as a wee bit down the wall just now. And between times, there are cookies already. And as you can see, they've still got a wee bit of sponge, but I think that's quite good for them. These ones are a wee bit harder. And now for the fun bit to try and spin this mixture into these little moulds. So I've actually got this little syringe, which is a little bit on the spoon. So we're going to try this and see how quickly we can get it done. Now, the only thing is, I don't know how quickly this stuff will solidify. But I'm pretty sure that coconut oil has actually quite a low melting point. That's all the little heart shapes filled up. Again, it took quite a while, so we'll try and get a little mould that's maybe a bit bigger. There's still quite a whack left in there, so again, once they've cooled down, make another batch, or if you've got another mould, you can make more batches. The recipe calls for that to go in the freezer for two hours and then get stored in the fridge. What I'm going to do is I'll probably put that in the fridge overnight um, and let them solidify, and then I'll pop them into a wee mould and put them in an airtight container or in a wee ziplock bag and keep them in the fridge and then give them to peps as a wee treat every now and then. The biscuits have cooled down, so what I can show you is that's them um, front side, and you can see the bottom side gets a wee bit more burnt and a wee bit more crispy. Um, but they're nice and soft, so they're a good little treat for them. The smaller ones are a little bit harder, a little bit more crunchy, so again, they'll be good for a training treat for them. And yeah, and that's that. Well, there you go, guys. And that's it. That's how easy to make them. I'll show you the twelve part of things. That's it. Been in the fridge for about four hours. Uh, obviously, as I said, you can put them in the freezer. There you go. You can put them in the freezer for a couple of hours. Let them solidify a wee bit more. It do melt really quickly, but as you know, it is just oil. The way I'll do with them is I'll empty them out, put them in a wee bag, and just put them in the fridge, keep them in there, and get a wee bit of a treat. And then, and then it's a nice sweet cool treat as well, which will be good in the hot weather. And there we go, that's the wee biscuits as well. What I've done is we've got a wee bag, this wee presentation bag, off of a company called Tiny Box Company. Uh, I will put a link down below, whatever it's called. Uh, it's a really nice little presentation bag which is brilliant if you know people with dogs, especially coming off the holiday season, so you can give them as little treats for their pets. Hopefully you never want to let uh, the pets miss out on any presents. Hopefully Pebbles absolutely adores them. As you know, you've got the ingredients in there that you know what's in there. The parsley is good for the breath, coconut oil is good for everything, and so is the cinnamon, good for your inflammatory or joints, something like that. As always, if you've liked this video, don't forget to give us a wee thumbs up. And as always, subscribe as well. Make sure you don't miss out on anything. We make videos like this all the time. And I'd love to know in the comments below exactly what kind of videos that you're looking for. I have future plans for cat treats for of the old Bam Bam. Can't let her get miss out. In between time, so if you've done any of these treats for your own puppies, I'd love to see their puppies going nuts for them. Um, I'd even love to see your puppies. Uh, put it in the comments down below. Um, Go on Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
go on, use a hashtag, let's say hashtag Glesga Dog Treats. That way I'll be able to find them exactly quickly and easily and everyone else can find them as well. Check us out on social media which is now Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, Tumblr, all of them. And until next time guys, keep geeking! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like it? Eh? Yeah. Oh, hi. Wait, hold on. Okay, what's going on?